In this class, we will try to solve a problem of normal incidence. Now, it has been given that an electric field of component which is given by this is traveling in a free space is incident normally on a lossless medium, right? with mu is equal to mu naught and epsilon equal to 9 epsilon naught. This is nothing but the property of the second medium, which occupies a reason y greater than or equal to 0. The reflected, the reflected magnetic field component, we have to find it out, right? So, let us visualize this. If I try to draw this, it will look like this. This is mu 1, this is epsilon 1, this is mu 2 and this is epsilon 2, right? So, there is a wave incident like this which is your Ei. Now, what they are saying is if it is an incident like this, there would have a magnetic field also, right? And it would have a reflected field also, right? Same way it will have transmitted also, right? So, they want to know what would be the reflected magnetic field, right? This question says that you have to find it out the reflected magnetic field. Okay. Let us see how I can find it out. The first thing I can do is this wave is traveling in a free space, right? If it is in traveling in a free space, then what will be your what will be your VP? It will be omega by beta, right? We know that, right? Okay. So beta would be nothing but your omega by VP, right? What is omega here? Omega it is given in this problem, it is nothing but 24 cos this, right? So, the omega is 3 into 10 to power 8. So, omega is 3 into, into 10 to power 8 and it is traveling in a free space, right? When electromagnetic wave travel in a free space, it would travel with the speed of light, right? So, this would be also 3 into 10 to power 8, right? So, can I say that my beta is 1, right? So, one thing we have concluded is beta would be 1 here, okay? What is the next part? The next part is we have to find it out the, so we have to find, we, let us write Ei first, Ei which is given as 24 cos 3 into 10 to the power 8 t minus beta y, anyway we know that beta is 1, Ez cap, right? This is what is given to us, okay. Now I have to find it out something called as Hi first. I will try to find it out Hi. Now, I know that Ei by Hi is nothing but your eta 1 because Ei and Hi are in medium 1, right? Right? Ei because when it is incident here, that time itself there will be incident magnetic field, right? So, Ei and Hi will be in medium 1, right? So, this is what is your medium 1 and this is what is your medium 2. Right. So, E i by H i will be eta 1 and what will be eta 1, right? What would be eta 1? Eta 1 would be nothing but it is a free space, right? The region 1 is a free space. So, the intrinsic impedance of free space comes out to be 120 pi, right? So, if that is the case, then my H i is nothing but H i is nothing but E i by 120 pi, right? And what is that? It is nothing but 24 by 120 pi cos this value 3 into 10 to the power 8 t minus beta y. Now, the interesting point to note is what would be the direction of H i, right? I said H i is E i by eta, eta 1 which comes out to be 120 pi. So, this is 24 by 120 pi cos 3 into 10 power 8 t minus beta y. What would be the direction of magnetic field? Either you can get the direction of magnetic field by pointing theorem, right? By applying the pointing vector concept or the another way of doing is this. The boundary which is separating these two regions is nothing but y axis, right? So, I can say that this would be y greater than 0 and this would be y less than 0, okay? This is, let us say it is a z axis, okay? So, now if I observe what it is saying is nothing but if I look at the electric field, okay? We will apply the right hand rule, okay? 
the right hand rule what it says that you should point so let's take my right hand your forefinger should point the direction of electric field your middle finger should point in the direction of magnetic field and your thumb should point in the direction of propagation by looking at this what is the direction of propagation if i compare it is nothing but this wave is propagating in plus y direction right it is minus beta y so it is propagating in plus y axis okay so it is going like this so my thumb or basically i'll say my thumb should point in the direction of propagation my forefinger should point in the direction of variation of electric field where the electric field is varying it is varying along the z axis so which is topward so where is my magnetic field now right if you look like this my magnetic field is pointing outward right so it is pointing outward so one thing is clear the magnetic field is pointing outward now which direction is actually outward do i know that this is a this is y this is z where is my x axis right i don't know whether it's along the magnetic field is along the plus axis or minus x axis let's see that we know the right hand coordinate system also what i'm going to do is i'll take my right hand i know that my forefinger should point in the direction of x axis my middle finger should point in the direction of y axis and thumb should point in the direction of z axis i know already y axis and z axis so let me point the z axis so if i point like this you see the thumb the thumb is in the direction of z the middle finger which i uh, said it should be in the y it means this is my x direction and where is the x pointing x is pointing outward right again my x is pointing outward and my magnetic field the incident magnetic field is also pointing outward right so can i say that my incident magnetic field will be along the direction of it will be along the direction of x axis so it will be a x cap this is clear how i got the hi now once i got the hi the next thing is to find the reflected magnetic field how i can get the reflected magnetic field okay so i know that there is something called as hr by hi is nothing but your tau which is nothing but the reflected magnetic field or reflected by incident is nothing but your reflection coefficient right so if i able to find it out the reflection coefficient i already know hi i can easily have an hr right so the only thing is find the what would be the reflection coefficient let's see that how i can find the reflection coefficient so we'll rub this so my reflection coefficient is given by eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 2 plus eta 1 right which is nothing but the intrinsic impedance of medium 2 minus intrinsic impedance of medium 1 intrinsic impedance of medium 2 plus intrinsic impedance of medium 1 on simplification this quantity would be nothing but mu 2 by epsilon 2 minus mu 1 by epsilon 1 divided by mu 2 by epsilon 2 plus mu 1 by epsilon 1 right right what is medium 1 medium 1 is free space right so mu 1 will be nothing but mu not by epsilon not right what would be mu 2 mu 2 is nothing but medium 2 they have already said that mu will be equal to mu not so this will be mu not and epsilon will be equal to 9 times of epsilon not on simplifying if you substitute mu1 is equal to mu0 and epsilon is equal to epsilon0 in medium 1 and if you put mu2 equal to mu0 and epsilon2 equal to 9 times of epsilon0 what you will get this is nothing but this is root over 1 by 9 minus 1 by root over 1 by 9 plus 1 if you simplify this this would be nothing but 1 by 3 minus 1 by 1 by 3 plus 1 right on further simplification this would be nothing but minus 2 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 right okay so what would be that value that value would be nothing but so we'll say that my reflection coefficient would be nothing but so my reflection coefficient is nothing but So that three three will get cancelled. It will be minus one by two.
right so i got the reflection coefficient now it is minus 1 by 2 once i have my reflection coefficient which you already stated earlier then nothing but hr by hi is nothing but your reflection coefficient so your hr would be nothing but tau times of hi you already know the hi right you already know the hi this is my hi and this is my tau right so i have to just multiply to get the answer let's see that okay so hr would be hr would be tau which is minus 1 minus 1 by 2 which we have already seen that times of hi hi is nothing but this is my hi which is nothing but 24 by 120 pi right cos 3 into 10 to the power 8 t beta we already solved it out the beta would be nothing but beta would be nothing but here beta would be 1 so which is y now there is an interesting thing here when you are trying to write it out hr then there is an interesting thing what is that interesting thing now if you observe if i'll take again my right hand point the direction of propagation like this okay Ma my electric field is varying like this my magnetic field was like this so this wave was going like this so it is something like this some wave is coming like and hitting this plane right so it is going like this and hitting the plane but when it get reflect back what you can observe it would be like this right going back again you see this is how it is going it reflect back right so now i can say that the direction of propagation is changed right previously it was going towards the y axis now it is moving towards the minus y axis so one thing to note is the direction of propagation is changed it is along the minus y axis another thing is that the variation of electric field is along the z axis when you reflect back also the ref the variation of electric field is along the z axis because this is plus z what happened to magnetic field this was going like this the magnetic field which was previously outward now it is inside right agree right it means that this will be this will be plus y right why plus y because now the propagation now the propagation of reflected field will be along the minus y axis right so it will be plus y and the electric field variation is along the minus a x cap or basically i can say that minus a x cap so the minus minus will be taken care so this will become plus and this will become a x cap right because that minus i have did it here so we have derived the magnetic field so we have derived the reflected magnetic field in the medium one we'll see more how to solve numericals related to this in the next videos